A massive shout out to the Janantir member Mr. Leroy 1998 and Janantir Leah Rav. Your support means a lot. If you would like your name mentioned in every video, as well as receive special perks and soon having early access to new series, consider becoming a member of this channel by hitting that join button. There's a rumor going around. If you like this video and subscribe you will gain a unique skill, if you become a member your unique skill will be combat oriented. Hi guys, this is the first part of, what if Naruto was half Soul Reaper and half Quincy. I hope you enjoy. I know for a fact that Ichigo Kurosaki will come here, having obtained a new power. I wish to bring that power closer to completion. Your deaths will help, Aizen says raising his blade and unknown to him there's a thunder cloud above him. Run, Asano, Tatsuki yells holding a girl on her back. Keigo can't utter a word can't believing what she's saying. Just do it, there's nothing you can do here, Tatsuki yells looking at Keigo. Keigo swallows and runs, Jin is about to follow him but Aizen stops him. There is no need to pursue them. We can begin right here, Aizen says without turning and looking straight at Tatsuki. What do I do? What do I do? I can't move. What do I do? Tatsuki thinks scared out of her mind. Aizen steps closer smiling. How can I save? Tatsuki thinks and Aizen swings down but suddenly a bolt of lightning came down drawing their attention. A bolt of lightning is blocking Aizen's blade. The lightning disappears to show a guy with blonde hair, ocean blue eyes no whisker marks, he's holding Zabaza's giant blade. The guy is showing a smile. Sorry I'm late, Naruto said smiling. Jin is surprised seeing this and Aizen's eyes narrow a little. So you finally show yourself, Aizen said and Naruto's smile widens and looks at Tatsuki and his smile changes to that of a gentle smile. It's okay, calm down, you just get out of here, Naruto said and somehow Tatsuki calms down. Aizen, who is T, Jin is cut off by Aizen. He is related to Ichigo Kurosaki, he is his cousin. He's the son of Ichigo Kurosaki's mother's twin sister, Aizen says and Naruto turns back to him. So you have been watching me, big deal. You and I know that I'm stronger than Ichigo and I have a good relationship with my hollow, Naruto said and Aizen's eyes widen. Run, now, Naruto yells and Tatsuki gets shakes her head. You'll die, Tatsuki yells worried for this stranger. Yeah, but I can't let a cute girl like you get hurt, Naruto said and she blushes a little and stands up. She looks at Naruto one last time and runs. Now I can use it. Ban, Kai, Naruto yells surprising Jin and Aizen's eyes narrow a little. A huge bolt of black lightning with a yellow outline comes from Naruto. When the dust clears he's in the same outfit as Ichigo when he goes Bankai, it's a Japanese long sword like Ichigo's but the sword looks different. The grip is yellow with black lines through it. The cross guard is a swirl and the blade itself is dark yellow. Tensa Reijin, Naruto said looking at Aizen no longer smiling and looking seriously at Aizen. He puts his left hand to his face and black reishi with a yellow outline start coming to Naruto's face accretes a hollow mask. When he removes his hand he has the same hollow mask as Ichigo but the red lines are dark yellow. I'm quite disappointed, I thought you would have shown more, Aizen said and Naruto puts his hand to his face again and starts to gather more reishi surprising Aizen and Jin. If I want to win I guess I'll have to go hollowfication too, Naruto says with his voice sounding like a second voice talking as well, just like Ichigo. Naruto removes his hand and his mask is different. It looks just like the mask Ichigo was wearing when he lost control against Ukiora and entered hollowfication too. Jin then feels the massive spiritual pressure. Naruto roars unleashing a dark yellow spiritual pressure. Incredible. Jin says and Naruto points his horns at Aizen and starts to create a yellow sero making Aizen's eyes widen. Naruto fires the beam and Aizen sticks out his hand blocking it but when the beam stops Naruto is gone. Aizen moves his head in time dodging Naruto's blade. You move just like your father, Aizen says and Naruto gets angry. Don't you dare talk about him. You killed my father. That is unforgivable. Naruto yells and his spiritual pressure increases. Naruto Sonido's next to Aizen and swings his blade. Aizen blocks it with his own and the impact pushes the wind away from them. Naruto begins to force Aizen back. Urahara taught you well but, Aizen says and his eyes glow. Aizen swings his sword and it connects with Naruto's sword and he flies back through a building. It won't matter, I'm still, Aizen says but was cut off by Naruto appearing behind him. Stronger, Naruto said and Aizen turns to him. 
Naruto raises his sword and a thunder cloud appear above him and yellow lightning hits Naruto's sword. I must end this now. Naruto thinks and the lightning stops and the cloud turns white. Now black lightning with a yellow outline begins surging from Naruto's body. Naruto then heard it, Aizen's Zanpakuto crying. Naruto becomes enraged. You sicken me, you can't even hear it. Naruto yells and Aizen looks a little surprised. I can hear your Zanpakuto crying, if you can't even hear it, Naruto says and Aizen narrows his eyes. Are you implying I can't hear Kyoko Suigetsu? Aizen said getting annoyed by Naruto's accusation. I'm surprised you know its name, it angers me hearing or seeing a Zanpakuto betrayed or ignored by its user. Naruto yells and his spiritual pressure increases and his lightning becomes bigger making Aizen eyes widen feeling his spiritual pressure increase even more. Kaminari. Naruto yells and the lightning starts to go to the blade. Jin's eyes widen feeling the tremendous spiritual pressure focus into his sword. Shirio. Naruto yells swinging the blade and Aizen eyes widen all the way and swings his Zanpakuto. A blinding flash blinds everyone. An explosion happens. The width of the blast is the size of a football field. The smoke clears showing Naruto breathing hard and his mask starts to break and pieces start to fall off. I did it, I defa, Naruto stops and his eyes widen. The smoke clears showing Aizen with a slash on his chest. But it starts healing. I am impressed by the sheer power you put in that attack, but it's futile. I'm stronger than you, I am the one who has transcend above Soul Reaper and Hollow, a mere human like you can't defeat me, Aizen says and Naruto looks at him disbelievingly. It's not over yet, Naruto yells sticking out his left hand and creates a yellow Saro. I'll never give up, Naruto yells and the Saro increases in size. Naruto flash steps in front of Aizen and thrusts his Saro straight at Aizen but he stops it by sticking out his left and and disperses the Saro. Damn it, Naruto said and Aizen slashes him across his chest and Naruto starts to fall from the sky and his mask falls to pieces. Naruto hits the ground and starts to black out. Time skip episode 308. Naruto's eyes start to open. B sees Tatsuki sitting next to him. What happened? Naruto said and looks to see Ichigo but he's different. So, this is the first time I ever met Ichigo face to face, Naruto thinks and Ichigo looks at Naruto. Aizen also looks different. Thank you for protecting them, Ichigo said and turns back to Aizen. Are you truly, Ichigo Kurosaki? Aizen said gaining Ichigo's attention. What do you mean? Ichigo said showing no emotion. If you are truly Ichigo Kurosaki, then I am disappointed. I no longer sense any Reiatsu from you at all. Even if you were suppressing it, it would not vanish entirely. Why oh why have failed to evolve? You have thrown away the last chance I bestowed upon you, Aizen said and Naruto sees Ichigo's Zanpakuto and the look in his eyes. Naruto smirks. Ichigo is stronger than Aizen, there's no mistaking it, Naruto thinks smiling. Aizen sticks out his left hand towards Ichigo. Such a pity, Kurosaki, Aizen is cut off by Ichigo. Aizen, Ichigo says cutting him off and Aizen's eyes narrow. Let's moves I don't want to fight here, Ichigo says looking at everyone. A meaningless proposal, such words are reserved for those word the strength to challenge me. There is no need for concern. I will leave Karakura town's destruction until after I, Aizen is cut off by Ichigo suddenly grabbing Aizen's face with his left hand and jumping away. Aizen is so screwed, Naruto says smiling happily. The sky starts clearing up and Naruto signs. He's no longer in Bankai state. Ichigo, Tatsuki said, don't worry, Ichigo won, Naruto said getting up and starts stretching. Man, Aizen beat the shit out of me, and the fight wasn't that long, Naruto said with a bored look on his face and looks at the sky. Who are you? Keigo says looking at Naruto with the others. I'm Ichigo long lost cousin, Naruto Namikaze, Naruto says introducing himself. Naruto flash steps past them surprising them. I'm going to see where Ichigo is at, Naruto said and flash steps away. Time skip Ichigo is on a rock looking away while Urahara is thinking about what Ichigo said. Yo Ichigo and Urahara, Naruto yells with the others behind him. Naruto gains their attention. Orihime, Ishida, Rukia, Chad, Renji and. Who are you? Ichigo says and Naruto signs and starts eating ramen. I'm your cousin, I was trained by Urahara. Naruto said and the others look at him surprised. Where did you get the ramen at? Chad said and Naruto looks at the cup of ramen in his hand. Quote dot dot dot, I don't know, 
Naruto said and Urahara laughs a little used to his Naruto acts. How come I never met you? Ichigo says now standing up. One it's because of idiot Urahara and two, your mother and kind are twin sisters. They were right, Strawberry, Naruto said and Ichigo's eyebrow twitches from that remark. Whatever you say, Fishcake, Ichigo said and Naruto's eyebrow twitches. Their heads are now butting against each other. You wanna go, Naruto yells. Bring it, Ichigo yells and Naruto's eyes widen. Ichigo falls past Naruto shocking him and the others. Ichigo, they yell rubbing to him while Orihime is just watching worriedly. Naruto signs already knowing about the final Getsuga Tensho. It's already taking effect, Naruto thinks. Ichigo, Orihime says worriedly. Ichigo screams in pain. Man he's loud, someone says and Naruto enters his mind. He's in the forest of death. Hollow Naruto is hanging from a branch and Reijin standing on a branch. Reijin looks just like Ichigo's Quincy powers. You know the one that said he was Zanjetsu, Reijin is doing the same exact thing. What now Hollow Naruto, Naruto says and the hollow laughs a little. Well, 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 look at that girl with orange hair, I've got to say that, Hollow Naruto is cut off by Naruto punching him in the face. Perverted Hollow, Naruto says with a light blush. I'm not perverted, I just said that to make you feel embarrassed, Hollow Naruto says true to his word. Well, can I leave now, Naruto said and Hollow Ichifi nods. Yeah whatever, what do you think Reijin? Hollow Naruto says and Reijin had his eyes closed the whole time and opens them. Be prepared Naruto, I have the feeling something is gonna happen, Reijin says and Naruto nods. Well, bye, Naruto says waving and disappears. You do know that hell find out about what you did, Hollow Naruto said looking at Reijin. I know, I can't keep him from what lies ahead, Reijin says looking at the blue sky. Time skip Naruto is currently in the head captain's office with the other three captains. He's going to tell the captain who he is. Imbeciles, Yamamoto yells at the three captains and Naruto sweat drops at this. How dare you lose your captains Howry? I might be able to overlook tearing them, but to lose them altogether. And then you have the hall to look at me as if nothing had happened, Yamamoto yells. Please do not be concerned, General. I am quite happy to pay for replacements for such cheap Howry, Yukuya says and Naruto chuckles but stops seeing the head captain glare at him. That is not the point, and they're not cheap, either, you witless fool. Now listen to me, there's more to a battle than just winning it at all costs. Just what do you knaves think a captain's howry is, Yamsnoto yells. A pain, Zaraki says with a bored look. Cheap cloth, Yukuya says with no emotion. Trendy, Shunsui says with a drunk look. To clean windows with, Naruto said putting in his two cents and Yamamoto gets a tick marks. You pack of miserable buffoons. Especially you N-A-R-U-R-O Namikaze. You are a fucking idiot. Yamamoto yells and Naruto looks at Zaraki. So how many heart attacks has he had? Naruto said and Zaraki smiles at that and Yamamoto gets even more pissed. Naruto ducks a sword. Sorry, 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 sorry. Naruto yells seeing that he lost a few hairs on his head and a pissed of Yamamoto. Time skip where Ichigo is. What happened to you? Ichigo says seeing Naruto with a big bump on his head and still steaming. Don't ask, Naruto says with tears in his eyes not wanting to remember Yamanoto slamming him through the floor. Time skip to REIGAI Uprising Arc Naruto, Ichigo and Rukia are wearing school uniforms, they got back from school. We're back, Ichigo says, Naruto is staying with them for now on. Rukia, Khan yells jumping to a Rukia which results Rukia kicking him in the face. Khan bounces all over the room. I've told Roy before Noe to leave the room, Khan, Ichigo says and stars walking. Khan falls on the ground and turns to Ichigo angrily. Shut up, I'm not letting F you get in the way of our daily ritual, Khan yells and Naruto raises an eyebrow. Your ritual? Naruto said. You heard me, the bliss of feeling Rukia's kick penetrate my cot, Khan is cut off by Naruto stepping over him. Pervert, Naruto said and Rukia then steps over Khan. Ichigo, what the hell is wrong with him? Naruto said and Ichigo and Naruto's substitute soul reaper badges beep. Naruto is also a substitute soul reaper. He got his powers by doing the same thing Ichigo did when he tried to awaken his powers that were inside of him by training with Urahara. Yamamoto let it skip since Naruto helped fight. Geez, day after day, they just keep on coming, Ichigo says. 
Enjoy it while it lasts, you may not have much time left you know, Naruto said taking off his bag along with Ichigo. Ichigo grabs Khan, hands off, Khan yells and Naruto starts to walk to the couch. I'll lay my body here, Naruto says and uses the badge which makes him come out of his body. His body falls on the couch. Ichigo swallows the mod soul and comes out of his body while Khan rolls and hits the wall. We'll be back, so don't start any trouble Khan, Ichigo said. That goes for you too, Chappie, Rukia said out of her body and looking at her Chappie that's inside her body. I, I, sir, Chappie says. Hold on there, Ichigo. What makes you think you can treat like this? Khan says and Naruto looks at Khan questioningly. Why bring this up now? Ichigo said. Every single time, you just use and abuse me until you're satisfied. I'm not just an Ichigo substitute, damn it. Khan yells and Naruto smiles. What are you talking about? Ichigo says she turns. Ichigo, Naruto, we've got to go, Rukia says and they nod. Right anyway, look after the place, will ya? Ichigo says and they flash step away. Time skip, what the hell did you do? Naruto yells standing next to Ichigo and Rukia. Naruto is back in his body and when he enters Ichigo's room he sees this. A green haired girl in Ichigo's bed. Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm not exactly sure, Khan says with a smile and Naruto's eye twitches. What the hell is wrong with you? Naruto yells at Khan. And why did you put her in my bed? Ichigo yells at Khan. Well, uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time, Khan says still in Ichigo's body rubbing the back of his head. How the hell is this a good idea? Ichigo yells and turns to the girl and lifts the sheet. Don't lift. Khan stops covering his eyes and Naruto saw and he turned away not seeing anything. Ikigi blushes bright red and Rukia has a light blush. Naruto is blushing bright red. I'm guessing she's not agreeing any clothes, Naruto says and Ichigo puts the covers back over her. What the fuck did you do? Ichigo yells blushing and looking at Khan. No 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 no, I didn't do anything, she was lying on the ground. Already like that, Khan yells standing up and backing against the wall. Ichigo, Naruto, Rukia says gaining their attention. I can't sense anything from this girl, Rukia says. Huh? Both Ichigo and Rukia say. Normally, even if a human has no spiritual power, you can still sense their aura. But it's like this girl doesn't even exist, Rukia said. Khan, where did you find her? Ichigo said looking at Khan. In a parking lot in the third district, Khan said. As I thought, that's right around where the Senkai gate opened earlier, Rukia said looking at her phone. So, does that mean this is a Gigai? Ichigo says and the whole time Naruto is ignoring them. Naruto puts a hand to her hair and bushes down until he touches her face. I can feel something. This isn't a Gigai, Naruto said. You guys talk to your Ahara, I'll stay here with Khan, Naruto says and surprising then. Fine, Khan you better keep out of trouble, Naruto said and they nod. Both nod and flash step away. I'll find her a pair of clothes and you watch her, Naruto said leaving the room and shuts the door. Naruto leans against the door and slides down. Naruto looks at the ceiling. What am I feeling, have I? No that can't be. Naruto thinks standing up and walks away. Time skip Naruto is sitting on the couch and it's the morning. Hello. Someone said and Naruto turns seeing that she's awake. Well, I'm Naruto by the way, what's your name? Naruto said and the girl sits on the other side of the couch completely ignoring Naruto. She takes the remote and starts to flip through channels until she stops at the weather channel. Not much of a talker, aren't you? Naruto said. Pervert, she says and Naruto blushes red. Wait what, I didn't do anything, John's the pervert and besides I'm the one who bought you the clothes, Naruto said. My name is Nozomi, Nozomi says and is surprised by why she just said that to a total stranger. Can I ask where your parents are, Naruto said and she looks away. Naruto signs and stands up. Let's talk upstairs okay, Naruto says politely and touches her hand. Both feel a jolt and pull away. What, was that feeling? Nozomi thinks never feeling this before. Both are starting at each other and hear running. Khan comes running downstairs and looks at the girl. Nozomi turns to Khan. Just what do you think you're doing? Khan yells grabbing Nozomi's arm and runs back up the steps. But before Nozomi disappears from view, they both have eye contact. Naruto is just standing there not moving and touches his right hand. Nozomi, 
Naruto says to himself. Naruto begins walking up the steps and hears yelling. Naruto opens the door and enters then closes the foot behind him. I brought you here without yelling anyone else in the house. Don't you dare take a single step outside this room. Khan yells and Nozomi has her arms crossed sitting on the floor while looking at Khan. If anyone found out I brought a little girl like you here, they'd figure I was a pervert and kick me out of the house for sure. Get it? Khan yells. Uh, you do know that she looks like she's in her teens so they won't see you as a mega pervert. I think. Naruto says in a thinking position. They hear knocking at the door. Something wrong big brother. Yuzu says at the door and Naruto begins sweating. Naruto starts to think of a plan. I'm Khan, you probably done remember, but I helped you out yesterday. What's your name? Where did you come from? Khan says leaning close to Nozomi who has a bored look. I won't tell you, Nozomi says looking the other direction. Nozomi stands up and sits on the bed at the corner of the bed. She still had her arms crossed. Huh? Khan says not understanding why she won't tell him. I said I'm not gonna tell you, Nozomi says loudly and Naruto rubs the back of his head. If Yuzu sees this there's gonna be a lot of explaining, Naruto thinks. Chish. Khan says with his hand in a silence motion. Shut it, you pervert, Nozomi says louder and Naruto cracks a smile. Who are you calling a pervert? Khan yells and starts moving towards her which results in Nozomi standing up and throwing the covers at Khan. Stay away from me, pervert, Nozomi says loudly and throws a poyo at Khan's face which makes him fall on the ground. Can you two please stop fighting, Naruto said with his eyebrow twitching. Time skip Khan walks in the room holding food while Nozomi is sitting on the bed looking at Naruto who's against the walk. Hey, you gonna eat? Anything you want. Khan says and Nozomi looks away then closes her eyes and opens them looking at the ceiling. Khan slams the food tray on the desk. Can't you hear me, you moron? Khan says which results getting hit in the face again by a pillow. Khan moves back against the table and his hands touch the pencils on the sharp ends. It hurts. Khan yells holding his left hand that has pencils in them. Where? Where am I, you moron? Nozomi says. Who are you calling a moron? This is my house in Karakura town. Well, sort of my house, anyway, Khan says. Karakura town, Nozomi says thinking. Yeah, it's a nice place here, so where are you from? Naruto said. How many times do I have to tell you two? I see no reason for you two to know. So not only are you two perverts but also complete morons, Nozomi says turning towards the window. Shut up, I'm not a moron or a pervert, Khan is stopped by Naruto whacking him on the head. Khan shut up, Naruto said and sits on the bed facing the other way from Nozomi. It's okay, you don't have to be scared. Trust us, Naruto said to Nozomi who looks down. Big brother, Yuzu says at the door again and both Naruto and Khan freeze. You keep shouting. Is something wrong? I'm coming in, Yuzu says touching the door knob and Naruto thinks fast. Naruto grabs the covers and wraps his arms around Nozomi making her blush. WW wait, Khan says and Yuzu enters. What's wrong? Yuzu says seeing Naruto in Ichigo's bed with the covers over him and Khan standing at the side. Nozomi is glaring at Naruto under the covers. It's nothing, we're just arguing, Naruto is stopped by Nozomi sneezing. Naruto thinks it was a cute sneeze. Quote dot dot dot, Naruto, who's under the covers with you, Yuzu says and Naruto starts sweating. Mindscape, well, this is gonna be entertaining, hollow Naruto says with a wide smile and sitting in a chair with a plasma TV in front of him showing what Naruto sees. Quote dot dot dot, I agree, this is, an interesting moment, Reijin says with a small smile. Out of mindscape, uh, Naruto says lost for words and Nozomi moves the covers off of her and looks at Yuzu. And Naruto, who is this girl? Yuzu says and the wheels in her head start moving. She's my friend from school, Naruto says with a smile and you could see that he's nervous. Karen, dad, Naruto has a girlfriend, Yuzu yells running out of the room and shutting it while Naruto turns snow white. Mega pervert, Nozomi says still sitting on Naruto. Mega pervert, Naksomi says again glaring at Naruto. Call me what you like, but if I'm the pervert, why are you on top of me? Naruto says and Nozomi blushes a little. Nozomi glares at Naruto again. Mega pervert, Nozomi says getting off of Naruto and stands up. Says the one who was blushing, Naruto says also standing up. Both are glaring at each other now. 
Quote dot dot dot. A uh, guys, Khan says seeing Ishan at the door holding a camera as well as Yuzu. Pervert, Nozomi says crossing her arms. Midget, Naruto said and Nozomi has a tick mark. Mega pervert, Nozomi yells louder. Green haired midget, Naruto yells back and takes a step forward but there was some pencils on the ground from Khan who had his hand stabbed by them. Naruto slips and falls on top of Nozomi. Their faces are so close they can feel the other's breath and both are blushing. Then they hear clicks and see flashes. Both turn to see Ishin and Yuzu at the door holding cameras. Naruto's blush increases. Karen signs. Leave them alone. Ichigo brought girls to his house a lot so what's the difference? Karen says leaving. I'm so proud of you. You are just like Minato. Ishin says smiling and Naruto's eye twitches. Can you two leave us three alone now? Naruto says calming down and they nod. Both take a few more pictures and leave. I hate my life. Naruto says getting off of Nozomi and falling on his back. Mindscape Hollow Naruto is on the ground laughing from what he saw. Ahahaha ahahaha. Hollow Naruto laughs and rage and signs at this. Out of Mindscape. Sign, sorry about that, Naruto says sitting up and apologizing to Nozomi. Mega pervert, Nozomi says looking away. Naruto stands up and walks towards the door. Sorry, Naruto said leaving. Time skip at night. Naruto is at the river watching the moon reflect off of it. It's peaceful, Naruto said in his soul reaper form. He left his body on the couch. Naruto hears running, he looks to see Nozomi running and it appears two soul reapers are chasing after her. Naruto's eyes narrow and flash steps. Where Nozomi is Nozomi ran inside what appears to be a factory. Nozomi stops out of breath. Nozomi looks around. Hey, are you alright? Khan says running towards Nozomi. But suddenly a bolt of light hits Khan sending him into the wall. The light looks like restraints. Nozomi eyes widen and turn slowly to the corner of the factory. A man walks out of it. You struggle in vain. Did you truly think you could escape me? Kujiroza says and Nozomi's eyes widen fearfully. Kujiroza jabs Nozomi in the stomach making her fall to the ground and passes out. My deepest apologies, one of the soul reapers say. No matter, kindly eliminate him for me. In the end, he is nothing more than a mod soul. I shall return while you deal with him, Kujiroza says and feels spiritual pressure. He turns seeing Naruto holding Reijin. Attacking a defenseless girl, you make me sick. B-A-N-K-A-I. Naruto yells pissed off. Nozomi opens her eyes a little seeing Naruto. Naruto, Nozomi says weakly and passes out. Kujiroza narrows his eyes feeling the spiritual pressure increase. You will pay for what you've done, Naruto said pissed off. You're not alone on that one, Ishida says appearing next to Naruto. Hado number 4 Byakurai, Kujiroza says firing lightning at them but it was simply absorbed by rage and surprising Kujiroza. Ishida disappears. Harenkyaku, Kujiroza says, it means flying curtain step. Are you a Quincy? It seems that my humble group has attracted considerable interest, Kujiroza said. I am not interested in you, but of appreciate you not bringing your quarrels to this town. Withdraw, if you do, I won't harm you, Ishida says. I would likewise prefer not to turn this into a serious incident, Quincy. However, if you two insist on obstructing us, then I will be forced to consider you another enemy to be eliminated, Kujiroza says. It wasn't my intention to obstruct you. By you see, I already consider you my enemies, Ishida says pulling back his arrow. As you will, Kujiroza says giving a sign to tell his soul reapers he can handle it. I will take responsibility, Kujiroza says and Naruto flash steps next to him. Both swing their blades. Ishida, you go long range and fire when there's an opening, Naruto said and both flash step at the top of the building. Very interesting I wasn't expecting this to happen, Kujiroza says smirking and Naruto narrows his eyes. Someone like you falling in love with Nozomi, Kujiroza says smirking which results in Naruto glaring at him. Kaminari Shirio, Naruto yells and swings his blade sending a black lightning wave at him. Kujiroza dodges it but then was struck in the back by Ishida's arrows. Kujiroza falls to the ground. Naruto flash steps next to Ishida on the ground. Well, that was boring, Naruto said and Ishida pushes his glasses up. Naruto turns to where Nozomi is still on the ground. So you have a crush on her, Ishida says with a smirk and Naruto blushes. Shut it four eyes, Naruto says walking towards Nozomi and Ishida's eyes twitch at the remark. 
It's not over yet, Kujiroza says and both stop and turn. Kujiroza's body is gone. Where is he? Ishida says looking around and Naruto looks up at the side of the building to see Kujiroza unharmed. Did you really think that you've won? Kujiroza says. His wound? Ishida says surprised. How is that possible? He was his by my Kaminari Shirio and your arrow. How is he unharmed? Naruto said not understanding Kujiroza's abilities. Fall into madness, Raikuu, Kujiroza says lifting his cane and it transforms. It looks like a dual blade sword. He's using Shiki, Naruto said. There is no need for that. I have no intention of giving you time to analyze it, Kujiroza says and spins his Zanpakuto and it happens. Naruto's eyes widen somehow reacting to it and Sonido's away but Ishida wasn't as lucky. Kujiroza is behind Ishida and Ishida's now disappears. Even from such a long distance. I didn't see it coming, Ishida says and falls to the ground. How did you dodge me, for a second you reacted before I could hit you, Kujiroza says. Huh? Naruto said not understanding. How did he? Before I could hit him he reacted on instinct, Kujiroza thinks. Hado number 4 Byakurai Kujiroza says and fires blue lightning at Ishida. Naruto turns and the attack was blocked by an orange shield. My word. Kujiroza says and Chad appears above him and throws in a punch which Kujiroza dodges but creates damage. Ishida. Orihime says running to Ishida who falls to the ground. Orihime, you take care if Ishida's wounds, Chad says. I'll try and but you some time, Chad says and Naruto flash steps next to him. I'll help. Naruto said. But time, you say, Kujiroza says and spins his blade. Naruto eyes widen and moves fast. Before Kujiroza could hit Chad his blade was blocked by Naruto. Again, Kujiroza says, I'll handle him, you protect Ishida, Naruto says and pulls back his blade. Naruto swings his blade and Kujiroza spins his Zanpakuto and a portal appears in front of him which Naruto slashes and the portal disappears. I'm not done yet. Naruto yells and is about to swing again when a portal appears in front of him and he sees himself swinging his blade in the same position he was stopped at. Naruto's eyes widen and is hit by his own attack. Naruto is slashed on his chest. What just happened? Naruto thinks and Kujiroza swings again but it was blocked. Good you're here, Naruto said seeing Ichigo in front of him. Thanks for blocking the attack, but I can handle it, Naruto says and his hollow mask forms in his face. No, I can, you protect the others, Ichigo says and Naruto raises an eyebrow. Right how you're not even strong enough to defeat me even with holofication, Naruto said and Ichigo turns to him. Naruto sees the anger in his eyes. Fine whatever, you fight him but if you can't defeat him I'm stepping in, Naruto said and his mask falls to pieces. Naruto flash steps to Nozomi and holds her close to him. You okay? Naruto says and Nozomi opens her eyes a little and has a a ball smile surprising Naruto. Nozomi eyes close and she passes out. Nozomi, Naruto says sadly and lays her down. Naruto looks very kissed at Kajiroza and is about to fight when his felt Nozomi's hand holding his. Please, don't go, Nozomi says quietly and Naruto smiles. Time skip Ichigo is sent out of the factory injured. Ichigo rolls on the ground with his shoulder all bloody. Ichigo. Rukia yells running to him. How convenient. You people could potentially interfere with my plans. I appreciate being fabled to eliminate you right here. Kujiroza says and suddenly Zabamaru comes through a water tower connecting with Kujiroza's blade. Yo, Ichigo. You've really stepped in it this time, haven't you? Renji says. Renji. Ichigo said. Kujiroza looks annoyed and Naruto appears behind him with hollow mask on. Kujiroza turns and swings his blade as well as Naruto but Naruto forced Kujiraiza back with sheer power alone. Kujiroza heard a yell and sees one if his bodyguards defeated. One of the soul reapers have Nozomi in his hand and Naruto flash steps next to him and cuts his arm off. Ra! He yells in pain. Naruto grabs Nozomi and flash steps away. That was your own fault, Toshiro says appearing next to the soul reaper and his him with the hilt of his Zanpakuto. Kujiroza appears behind Naruto and swings his blade. Naruto ducks and jumps away with Kujiroza chasing after him. Put her down. Kujiroza yells at Naruto. Never in a million years, Naruto yells and his hollow mask turns to pieces. Naruto is holding Naksomi bridal style while still holding Reijin. Naruto jumps in one of the factory's taller buildings and a lot of cherry blossoms appears behind Naruto going after Kujiroza. 
Kujiroza jumps away and flash steps to another building. They just keep coming R of the woodwork, Kujiroza says with his two soul rappers appearing next to him. Big brother, Rukia says seeing Yukuya. Yukuya, Ichigo says surprised. Such a shameful defeat, Ichigo Kurosaku, Yukuya says. Yeah, he shouldn't let me fight him, Naruto says appearing next to Yukuya holding Nozomi. Shut up, Ichigo says standing up. Wait, you guys are the real thing, right? Ichigo says reviving an odd look from Naruto. Well, duh, Renji says. But why? Rukia says. It ain't just us, Renji says smiling and more captains and vice captains show up. Hey what's up Zaraki? Naruto says smiling at Kenpachi who smiles back. Ah if it isn't Naruto. I want a rematch after this okay, Kenpachi says and Naruto nods. Yay, Fishcake is here, Yakiru says happily. Why you're all, Ichigo says looking around. That raw materials, Kujiroza says with his left eye twitching. Mayuri appears in front of Nemu. What interesting things you've been doing. Forgetting your place, for one, Mayuri says smiling evilly at Kujiroza. Well, if it isn't Captain Kuritsuchi. Yui graves us with your presence sooner than I expected, Kujiroza said sailing. You have been terribly late with your report, don't you think? Thanks to you, I've been stuck rescuing this worthless bunch when I have far better things to do. Quite the thankless job, I look forward to paying you back for it. A million times over, Miyuri says with his head leaning all the way to the right in Naruto signs. Well thanks, I guess, Naruto says. Most amusing, sir. You appear to believe that you've won, but I assure you you're mistaken, Kujiroza says and his Zanpakuo turns back into a cane. This is merely a temporary withdrawal, Kujiroza says and the Senkamon opens behind him. You bastard, wait, Ichigo yells, stop, Ichigo, the severed world presently under his control. If someone as pitiful as you were to charge in without thinking, you would most certainly be doomed. Though if this latest folly is your way of saying you wish to die, far be it from me to stop you. It's exactly the kind of death I would expect of you, Miyuri says. Shut the hell up, Ichigo says turning back to Kujiroza leading. Kujiroza turns to them, I look forward to demonstrating my true power to you all once I've reclaimed Nozomi, Kujiroza says and Naruto glares at him and holds Nozomi closer to him. Over my dead body, Naruto says. Your true power, Toshiro says. That is when soul society and the human world will both fall under my control. Well, then, esteemed raw materials. And soul riar substitutes. Let us meet again someday, Kujiroza says and the gate closes and disappears. Like hell am I letting that guy control anything, Ichigo says. Time skip Naruto is currently watching Nozomi sleep. Has he even left that spot? Chad says and Ichigo shakes his head. He's been there the whole time waiting for her to wake up. Nozomi's eyes open and the first she sees is Naruto and his smiles kindly at Nozomi. You're awake, Naruto says and Nozomi looks away and tries to get up but can't. She sits up. Don't push yourself too hard, Orihime says and Khan in stuff animal form jumps on Nozomi's knees. 2. You sounded like you were having bad nightmares. You okay? Khan says and Nozomi is just staring at Khan. Hey, age you listening to me, Khan says pointing at Nozomi. The hell is this, Nozomi says and Naruto bursts out laughing. Ahaha, that's Khan, so, any idea why that guy was after you? So are you a soul reaper, Naruto says leaning closer to her. Nozomi looks away. None of your business, Nozomi says and Naruto signs. Okay, well he's a mod soul. He uses that body if he doesn't have Ichigo's body, Naruto said and saw Nozomi react to the word, mod soul. A mod soul, Nozomi says looking at Khan. H hey now, Khan says and Nozomi just stares at him. W what is it, th that aside, how about you just answer the questions. If you do, I'll let you borrow my minions for a while, Khan says getting closer abs about to touch her chest area when Nozomi grabs a flower pot and smashes it against Khan's head. Mega pervert, Nozomi says holding the broken pot. You bitch, what the hell was that for? Khan yells and Ichigo picks Khan up from behind. Pipe down, Ichigo says annoyed. Why should I, I was just trying to talk to her. Khan says struggling but it's futile. There's no point trying to force answers out of her if she doesn't want to talk, Ichigo says. But still, Khan said. Rukia enters, Naruto, Ichigo, 
how much longer are you two planning to make Big Brother and the others wait? Get over they, Rukia said. In not going, Naruto said gaining their attention. I'll stay here, with Nozomi, Baruto said and Ichigo raises an eyebrow and Naruto blushes. I I mean I will stay here and protect her just in case they return, Naruto says blushing. Fine, I'll go, Ichigo says. All right, then let's go to the countermeasures meeting, Khan says walking to Rukia. You should stay with the girl like everyone else, Rukia says. W-H-A-A-A-A-A, Khan says. They're still after her, we can't be too careful, Rukia says. But, Khan says, this is a vital mission. We need you here, Rukia says. Yay wheel, if it's you asking, I guess I don't mind helping out a little, Khan says. Let's go, Ichigo, Rukia says. Yeah, Ichigo says leaving with Rukia. See you later, Orihime says waving along with Chad. They hear the window open and look to see Nozomi looking out the window. Nozomi, Oroheim says worriedly seeing the sad look. Time skip Naruto is helping the others set up the barbecue. Naruto sets the table Shen and looks at Nozomi who died by seem to be interested at all. Well, if you guys will excuse me, Naruto said entering the house. Two minutes later, I found the other table, Naruto says and sees Khan and Nozomi are gone. Naruto drops the stuff and immediately uses his badge coming out if his body and flash steps away. Nozomi, Naruto says worried. What? Ishida says and looks to see she's gone. We have to, before Ishida can finish Naruto flash steps away. Naruto has been searching all across town and appears on top of a building. He sees Mod Soul Rangaku about to slash Nozomi and he flash steps. Nozomi shields herself and doesn't feel anything. She looks to see Naruto grabbing on Rangiku's hand. Let go, Rangiku says and Naruto begins crushing it making her start to fall to her knees. I will never allow you to touch her again, Naruto says owling his blade up. Growl, before Rangiku could release. Her shiki, it was too late. Kaminari Shirio, Naruto yells and slashes creating a lightning explosion. Damn it, I was so close, Rangiku says turning into a puppet then to dust. You, okay, Naruto says bending down to Nozomi and looks at Khan giving a thumbs up. Time skip, you okay now? Naruto said back in his own body and next to Khan standing in front of Nozomi. Nozomi is looking at the bandages around Khan. Be grateful, ahahaha. Khan says laughing and Ichigo hits him on the head. Ow, what? Khan said. Quit telling her to be grateful. It's all your fault for taking your eyes off her to begin with. Why'd you leave her in the first place? After everything Rukia said to you, Ichigo says pointing at Khan accusingly. Uh, well, the thing is, Khan says embarrassed. Mega pervert, Nozomi says looking away and Naruto nods. You got that right, Naruto said. Namikaze, Kurosaki, Nozomi, I've grilled some meat for you, Orihime says holding the plate of meat. Don't worry, Nozomi, we'll protect you for sure, Ichigo says surprising her. Nozomi turns away. What are you people, morons, Nozomi says. Well, both, Naruto said grabbing a stick with barbecue in it. He sticks it towards Nozomi. You should try some, Naruto says with a smile. Nozomi is looking at Naruto then the food. Nozomi leans closer and takes a bite. Everyone smiles. Naruto is feeding Nozomi. How cute. Oroheim says making both blush red. At night Naruto enters the room with Ichigo to see how Nozomi is doing. Nozomi, everyone going to bed so you should. Naruto stops seeing Nozomi isn't in the room. Huh. Ichigo said and both hear a weird sound coming from the closet. It's Khan. Naruto opens the closet door. Khan, what happened? Ichigo said worried. Khan is tied up, time skip Khan is coughing. Nozomi, you bitch, damn it, what were you thinking, hog tying me like that, Khan says surprising them. We must split up, you warn the others I'll start looking Naruto said and jumps out the window. Time skip Naruto, Ichigo, Oroheim, Chad and Ishida meet up out of breath. Did you find her? Ichigo said to them. She couldn't have gone far, Chad says looking around. I can't track by her Reiatsu. Is she really a soul reaper? Ishida says trying to think things through. Rukia and Renji flash step on the street light. Ichigo, Rukia says gaining their attention. Rukia, did you find her? Ichigo said. No, not at all. The vice captains are searching for her, too, Rukia says and Naruto looks down sadly. 
Khan says she seemed to be looking for something last night as well, Ichigo says starting to put things together. Damn it, the captains are already working on a new strategy. I cage afford to fall behind, Remji says and they all feel spiritual pressure. That felt like, Ichigo says and they all west. The Senkai gate must have opened. I just felt several captain level Reiatsu, Rukia says and Naruto grits his teeth angrily. Of all the times for them to show up, Naruto said. Either way, we have to find Kuju fast, Ishida says. Yeah, Khan, Ichigo turns around and he's gone. Why he always there except when I need him. And I don't have my substitute badge, either. Naruto, Ichigo stops seeing Naruto has disappeared as well. Where Naruto is Naruto is running through the forest. I don't know how but I can feel her presence, it's like I know where she's at. Naruto thinks running and stops seeing Nozomi lying down on the grass. Naruto runs to her and bends down. Sign, she's alive, Naruto says and sees she's having a nightmare. Naruto frowns and picks Nozomi up bridal style and starts walking through the forest. Three minutes later Nozomi wakes up and sees a smiling Naruto looking at her. She glares at Naruto. Can you put me down? Nozomi says glaring at Naruto and he sweat drops. Why yeah, sorry, Naruto says putting her down. Both hear rustling in the bushes and look. Khan runs out of the bushes and Nozomi kicks Khan in the face. Why you brat, what are you doing here in the middle of nowhere, Khan says in pain. How did you two know I was here? Nozomi says and Khan sits down with a shoe print on his face. I dunno, I just had a hunch. Don't underestimate the power of my intuition. Sheesh, why have you gotta try to be on your own so much? Do you hate us that much? Or maybe you're up to something? Khan says walking towards Nozomi who has a look of little surprise. Hey, Khan is stopped by Nozomi hitting him to the ground with a stick which stews Khan from getting up in Naruto signs. Mind your own business, Nozomi says and they feel spiritual pressure. They're coming, Nozomi says standing up and starts running and Naruto starts running after her. H hey, hold on, damn it, hey, wait for me, damn it, Khan yells being left behind. So why are you running? Naruto said and Nozomi looks at him with a glare. Do following me mega pervert, Nozomi says and his eyes twitch. I'm not a pervert, Naruto yells at Nozomi. Both glare at each other. Time skip in town Nozomi is walking with Naruto close behind. Hey, wait, will ya? Hey, where are you going? I'm talking to you, damn it. Will you just Santo? Khan is cut off by running face first into Nozomi's legs. Khan rolls backwards and lays on his back then sits up. That her, Khan is stopped by Naruto's fist hitting his head. Will you shut up? Naruto yells at Khan with a tick mark on his forehead. Don't know, I don't know where to go. Nozomi says and Naruto looks both directions seeing if they're being followed. You what, you mean you're just wandering about for no good reason? Khan yells climbing onto her and begins shaking her. Nozomi then glares at Khan which stops him cold. I better prepare the funeral, Naruto thinks. Nozomi picks up and rock and Khan lets go then Nozomi throws a rock into Khan's face making him fly back into a tree while saying, don't throw rocks. Khan falls to the ground steaming. Shut up, pervert. Nozomi says. Is it always pervert this and pervert that? Naruto says and Nozomi turns to him and throws a rocks at Naruto which he catches. You shouldn't throw rocks, Naruto says dropping the rock. I do have, a reason. I just don't know where to go, Nozomi says looking down and begins walking again. Hey, Khan yells and Naruto starts following her again, this time right beside her. Time skip near the river they're walking on the road. Will you get a grip already? What are you going to do if you get caught by those guys who are after you again, Khan says running behind them. I can protect her Khan so don't worry, Naruto said with his hands in his pockets. Why protect me, Nozomi says looking at Naruto who blushes. W well, Naruto says with a light blush and running the back of his head sheepishly. For the sake of soul society, for the sake of the human world, Nozomi says. That ain't it, like, come on, seriously, you're such a pain. I'm fed up with you. I'm gonna leave you alone with Naruto. Hear that, I won't worry about you anymore, Khan says turning around with his arms crossed. They just continue walking without stopping. Khan's eye twitches and looks back. Hey, damn it, Khan yells running after them. Khan jumps on Nozomi's leg surprising Nozomi and Naruto. What are you doing? Nozomi says looking at Khan. Come back, 
I'll use force if I have to. Kong says. Hey off, Nozomi says starting to shake her leg. Like hell. Khan yells and Nozomi just ignores him and keeps walking. I wonder what Ichigo is doing now, Naruto thinks following Nozomi. Even if I have to drag you back. Wait, I'm the one being dragged now. Khan says hanging from Nozomi's leg. Let go, how long do you plan to keep grabbing me, mega pervert, Nozomi says. Just go back to Ichigo's place and let us protect you, Khan yells and Nozomi suddenly stops. Enough, I'll fix it even without protection. Nozomi says with her arms crossed. What are you talking about? Naruto said not knowing what she's planning. That why I came to Karakura town, Nozomi says and shakes a little from the cold night air. Naruto takes off his black jacket and puts it on Nozomi surprising her. You need this more than I do, Naruto says smiling and Nozomi looks down. Thank you, Nozomi says and Naruto's smile widens while Khan is yelling in the background. Time skip to woods, hey. Will you be a good girl and give up already? Khan says still hanging from her leg. How about you give up instead? Nozomi says and kicks Khan off her leg which results him slamming into a tree face first. Khan falls to the ground with his left a messed up. Ah, my eyes coming out. Look, it's hanging, it's hanging. Khan yells and stops seeing Nozomi looking ahead. Where to now? Naruto said. I see now, where I need to go, Nozomi says. Really, where is it? Wow, man, I'm so glad. All right, let's head there right now. Then all of us can get back to Ichigo and the others quickly. Right. Khan says and Nozomi picks Khan up by the ear. Hey, be a little gentler. My ear's gonna come off too. Khan stops and Naruto looks surprised seeing a shrine in front of them. Am I going blind because if didn't even notice that, Naruto says. That gate, Nozomi says suddenly drawing their attention. Gate, you mean the Torii? Khan says still dangling. But not this one. There's a place in this town with lots of then in a row, right? Nozomi says and Naruto enters a thinking pose. A place with lots of Torii. Could that be? Now I know what you're talking about. That's probably the one up in the mountains. I've been there before. Khan haven't you been there as well? Naruto says and Khan nods with a know-it-all look. Yes in fact I know. Khan is stopped by Naruto taping his mouth shut. You had tape the whole time and you chose now to use it, Nozomi says with a glare. Sorry, I forgot, Naruto says running the back of his head. Show me, Nozomi says and drops Khan. Hurry up, Nozomi says. Are you sure you want me to get you there fast, Naruto says with an eyebrow risen. Yes so hurry, Nozomi stops by Naruto picking her up bridal style while Khan grabs into Naruto's leg. Let go of me, Nozomi says glaring at Naruto. Well you're the one who told me to hurry up, Naruto says and begins running with Nozomi wrapping her arms around Naruto's neck. Five minutes later Naruto stops and lets Nozomi down. Khan lets go of Naruto. Are we there yet? Nozomi says and Khan finally rips the tape off his mouth. Keep your sucks on, you'll see it in just a sea, that's it there, Khan says pointing ahead. So, what's supposed to be over there? I did carry you here, Naruto says but Nozomi's ignoring him. I remember what you said. Is that what this is about? Khan says but she's isn't answering and looking ahead. So you're playing dumb? Khan says and Nozomi begins walking again. What is with her? Naruto says following. H hey, wait for me, Khan yells running after them. Two minutes later they're standing at the steps of the shrine. Come on, surely it's okay for you to tell me now, Khan says but she isn't listening. What is up ahead? Naruto said looking at Nozomi suspiciously. A Senkai gate, Nozomi says surprising them. Oh, I see, of course, a Senkai gate. What do you mean, a Senkai gate? Isn't that something Soul Reaper are supposed to open, Khan yells. When we were investigating the Severed World, we discovered that there are many previously unknown Senkai gates. One of them is through here, Nozomi says. What are you gonna do when you're at the gate? Naruto said not liking what's gonna happen. Let's go, Nozomi says walking and they follow. They begin walking through the Tories. Nozomi hands Naruto back the jacket which he takes and puts back on. There's a Senkai gate here, Khan says and they're finally at the shrine. I get it, you're gonna open that gate and run away somewhere, Khan says and Nozomi takes a few steps forward. I'm not running away, Nozomi says and stops in front of the shrine. This is it, Nozomi says and puts her right hand up and touches something which glows white. 
The space is distorted, Nozomi says and makes a hand sign. A blinding light appears and a portal is in front of Nozomi. What is this? It's not like the Senkai gate I saw, Naruto says walking next to Nozomi. This is a natural Senkai gate. There are countless severed worlds that connect soul society and the human world. Their flow is too fast, and so they are dangerous. They are small, and we don't know where they lead. This is one of them. If you enter it, and seal it behind you, no one will ever find you, Nozomi says looking at the gate. How long are you planning to hide? Naruto says with his hair covering his eyes and his hands start to become fists. Forever, Nozomi says and suddenly the portal was cut in half destroying it. Nozomi's eyes are widened and looks behind to see Naruto in his Soul Reaper form holding his substitute Soul Reaper badge in his left hand while holding Raijin in his right hand. Why did you do that? Nozomi yells at Naruto who puts away the badge. I won't allow you to do it. Locking yourself away and being alone forever, I won't allow it. I'll never let you go, Naruto says surprising her. I'll protect you, and that's a promise of a lifetime. Naruto says with clear unfaltering determination in his eyes. Naruto, Nozomi says and Naruto's eyes widens and wraps his left arm around Nozomi and flash steps next to a Torii behind them. Look what we have here, Raigai Rukia says appearing in front of them. A Raigai, Nozomi says. Let's not have any more of you acting out on your own, Rukia says and four other vice captains appear behind them. You sure you want to pick a fight against these numbers, one of them say. Oh great it's Baldi and the others, Naruto says and the so-called Boldly's eye twitches. How did you, Nozomi is stopped by Rukia. Did you think you were the only one who knew about this severed world? Rukia says smiling and goes to reach for Nozomi when Naruto grabs her arm and begins to put pressure on it. Rukia grunts in pain. I'm disposing of you people now. B-A-N-K-A-I, Naruto yells and black lightning with yellow outlines come from Naruto. Naruto raises his sword at them. I will never allow you to hurt one of my precious friends, Naruto says and Black Lightning starts to emit from his blade. He's fighting to protect. Dot his friends, Nozomi thinks. Kaminari Shirio, Naruto yells swinging the blade down and a wave of Black Lightning is sent at them making a small explosion. The dust starts to clear showing Rukia standing. You. Dot win, Rukia says falling to her knees and turning into a mod soul. Naruto goes back into Shiki. Naruto. Khan says running to him. Why do all this for me? We only met a day ago, Nozomi says and Naruto smiles at her. Because I promised that I would never let anyone hurt you, Naruto said. You promised. Nozomi says and Naruto's left hand goes to Nozomi's chin making her look up and Naruto leans in. I never break my promises, Naruto says and realizes how close they are. Naruto starts blushing and lets go. S so never do that again okay? Naruto says looking away blushing redder than a tomato. Nozomi smiles. Okay, Nozomi says smiling at Naruto. What? Khan yells not believing this. Nozomi realizes what just happened. Uh, I mean, Nozomi says looking away blushing red. Thanks for watching. This video was the first of many that will be released to members first. The next part will be out soon.